Hello, today we're looking at bond energy and modeling with chemical reactions. So with bond energies, there's so much energy needed to overcome to break bonds. These are not intermolecular forces. This is the ability to separate atoms and or ions. However, we're often going to focus on covalent compounds during this section. So this measures bond strength. The larger the bond energy, the more or more strong the bond is. When bonds are broken, the change in the bond energy is positive. You need to add energy in in order to break a bond. When bonds are formed, the change in bond energy is negative. Things become more stable, they release energy to the surroundings, and so they go to a lower energy state by getting rid of extra energy to the surroundings. So breaking bonds positive, forming bonds negative. Endothermic reactions is when energy is absorbed. Again, the change in bond energy is positive. Exothermic reactions, energy is given off, change in bond energy is negative. Most reactions are exothermic in total. Some are going to be endothermic. We'll see both. So the standard that we're looking at is I can make a model to show the release or absorption of energy from a chemical reaction comes from the changes in the energy of the bonds from beginning to end. So this is looking at the bonds changing and energy changing. So you can make a model that describes the relationship between the relevant parts. So here's an example of a chemical reaction. A simple combustion releasing energy. You can see we have energy in kilojoules on the product side, which means it's made. Energy is given off to the surroundings, meaning it's exothermic because it's on the product side. The change in bond energy will be negative. So let's look at a couple ways we can model this because a model is just a representation of the real thing. So you can represent this a couple different ways. So we first have a simple drawing model. So we have our chemical system, our reactants labeled and our products labeled, given the chemical equation. And then we see that energy is being given out because it's being released from the system. So it goes from the system to the surroundings, energy is being transferred, and therefore we're producing energy here. Again, another example that we have, we have our reactants where we need to show the bonds and the appropriate amounts. Energy is needed to break the bonds. So we have intermediate atoms. See how they're all separated? The bonds form, giving your new bonds that are shown and energy is left out. So again, we're going from reactants to products with our intermediates in shows you kind of exactly what's going on with the bonds as we go. Now look at another example, a graphical model. So we have the idea of reactants at some kind of energy. We don't know how much they have, but we know the energy is being given off. So our products are going to be at a lower value of energy. And the progress of reaction is going to go from, you know, start to finish. These are very not arbitrary, but uh, not vague, general, generalized, higher energy to lower, and the amount of energy being given off would be illustrated as shown. Here we also have a mathematical model. Some of the math-minded people might enjoy this. So we need to show how much energies are for each of the types of bonds. So this would be provided for you to be able to calculate. So let's see this in action. So we first need to have our chemical reaction showing the different types of bonds. You have all of the reactants added together minus all of the products. Essentially, this is all of the energy needed to break the bonds plus all the energy released in making the bonds. However, because we're adding a negative value, that's the same as subtraction. So we have the four of the CH bonds, which is 413 from the chart you saw on the previous page, two of the oxygen double bonds, which is 495. All that needs to be added together. You can see that's summarized down here, minus two of the carbon oxygen double bonds, 
plus four of the oxygen-hydrogen bonds, which is where the 467 comes from for oxygen and hydrogen. Again, those being added together, subtracted out, we get our 824 kilojoules, which is what we had from our original chemical reaction. And that would be negative because it's being given off. Let's look at an endothermic example. So we have our reactants and energy on the reactant side. You know, I think of these as almost like when you bake anything, you have your raw ingredients and energy makes your cake. That's some terrible toxic cake if it's nitrogen monoxide. But what we have is our elements and our energy to make our product. So that energy is absorbed into the system endothermic and that the change in bond energy overall will be positive. Again, we have our drawn example, reactants and products, and we have so much energy coming into the system. We have our different bonds that we start off with. Energy to break those bonds gives us all of our elements. And from the atoms, we need the energy in order to make it to the products. These are some kind of odd nitrogen monoxide is an odd molecule that can have actually a lone electron, but these are our products. Graphical, we start off at lower energy in our reactants. Our products have higher energy because they absorbed the amount of energy to go from reactants to products. As you can see, they're higher on the axis for energy and again, further along for the progress. Mathematical model, similar chart. It's got a little more juice on it and a little more stuff, but we would use these in order to determine that. So we have our different compounds, right? And remember, it's the sum of the reactants minus the sum of the products. So we have one of the carbon, I'm sorry, one of the nitrogen triple bond, one of the oxygen double bond, minus two of the nitrogen oxygen double bonds. All comes from the chart. Add it all up, subtract, and we get our 222 that we have in our original equation. All right, all of these are options. You'll get some practice with each. And uh, talk to you later. Let me know what questions you have. Take care.